Hello friends, I am Rajini Sharchandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the previous video of engineering graphics, we have seen or we have solved problems, lines inclined to both the planes using a rotating line method. And in this video, we are going to solve another type of problem. In the previous video, both the endpoints of the lines are given and the true length are given. That was actually type 1 problem in rotating line method. And in this video, we are going to another type problem where the true length is given, one endpoint is given and the true inclinations of the line with both HP and VP is also given. The question you can see in your screen right now. A line AB of length 60 mm has 1 and A 25 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. The line is inclined at 30 degree with HP and 40 degree with VP. Draw the projections of the line and measure the length of the front and top views of the line and also mark the inclination of the projection with respect to the XY line. So this is the question. Draw the projections of a line of length AB is equal to 60 mm. So the length of AB is equal to 60 mm which means the true length of the line is given as 60. The point A is given as 25 mm above HP and 30 mm. The line is inclined 30 degree with the HP. We know that the inclination with the HP is indicated with the theta and 40 degree with the VP. That means that angle of inclination with the VP means it is 5. So 35 degree is equal to theta and 5 is equal to 40. These are the given values. So how can we start? This is the XY line. We can start with the locating A. So A can be located at the height of 25 and 30 in front of. So this could be A dash and A. This height will be 25 and this will be 30. So this data is utilized. Now what is given? True length is given and true inclination is given. In the previous case, the other endpoint is also given was also given but in this case true length and true inclination is given. So what will be the next step? We know that true length and true inclination can be always marked together which means the true length 60 will be inclined at an angle 35 degree in the front view. The true length 60 will be inclined at an angle 35 degree in the front view at an angle theta in the front view that means 35 degree in the front view. If you remember the previous problem, the first true length what we have plotted was indicated with the A dash B1 dash. That A dash B1 dash was inclined at an angle theta. Here similarly the true length is given, true inclination is given and we know that the first true length of AB can be indicated as A dash B1 dash. So that A dash B1 dash will be inclined at an angle 60, 35 degree with a length of 60. So how can we locate B1 dash? At an inclination of theta is equal to 35 degree, we can draw a line of length 60 and name that point as B1 dash. So if this is the true length, we know that its opposite projection will be a parallel projection or line parallel to x, right? So since this is true length, its opposite projection will be line parallel to x, y. So that can be named as B1. Similarly, we have seen that in the previous case, there was a locus line of D dash, right? And on that locus line, we have intersected the true length. In this case, we have B1 dash. So, we know that since this point belongs to B1 dash, we can draw a line through that point and that line should be locus line of B dash. So, this line will be locus line of B dash. Now, one more data is given. It is phi. So, what is phi? It is the inclination of the true inclination of the line with respect to VP. That means the true length 60 and phi will always mark it together. So, what is the true length in the top view? True length in the top view and phi can be marked together. What is the true length in the top view? In the previous uh, exercise, we have seen that the second true length or the true length in the 
top view is indicated with the a b2 so the second true length a b2 will have a length of 60 and it will be invent at an angle 40 degrees so from a at an inclination of phi is equal to 40 degree we can draw a line having a length 60 and we can name that point as b2 so if this is a true length its a opposite projection will be a line parallel to x or parallel projection so this will be its opposite projection b2 dash and we also know that uh, since this is this point is the end point of the true length the locus line of the point b will be passed through that point so this will be the locus line of b c now listen the question now this problem has now so now you can see that this solution now becomes similar to the previous one see both the endpoints are given both the locus lines are both the endpoints are given and we have obtained both the locus lines so a dash a is given a, a dash a is there locus line of b dash locus line of b is there b dash b1 dash and b2 is there so now you can see we will see that this question becomes similar to the previous problem so what will be the next step see this is the first true length this is its opposite parallel projection so now we can rotate this keeping this under and this as radius we can rotate and it intersect the locus line of b here so listen this is the first true length this is its opposite parallel projection now we can rotate this that after rotation this intersect here on the locus line of b which means this point will be b and this will be the projection a b now what how can we obtain b dash draw the vertical projector that projector intersect locus line of b dash here so this will be b dash and connect Now we have obtained a dash b dash the front view, a b which is the top view. So the projection is completed. Now what will be this angle? This angle is the angle of inclination of the projection right in the front view. So this will be alpha and this will be beta. What will be the final step? Mark the dimensions. We know that this is 25, this is 30. This is the true length 60. Since in the question, the length of front view, length of top view, and the angle of inclination of the projections with the x y is asked, we have to measure this a dash b dash, a b, alpha, and beta, and we have to mark like this. So there will be a separate mark for this answer. So this is the second type of problem in rotating line method where one of the endpoints here a is given the true length as well as both the true inclinations of the line will be given so a is given or a dash b a is given true length is given theta and alpha is uh, theta and phi is given so this is the second type of problem in the rotating line method and i hope all of you have understood this problem so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and in the next video we will be learning another type of problem in the rotating line method. So you can see again in the next video. Thank you all.